The Red Cross set up shop about five miles from the mobile home park. They'll organize a resource center on Friday for people who lost their homes. Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker got a firsthand look at the destruction this afternoon. He declared a state of emergency for Barron, Jackson, and Rusk counties. That means that the National Guard can help with cleanup. Governor Walker also thanked first responders and clergy members for stepping in to help. This is a traumatic occurrence for a large uh, group of people, and uh, they're going to need far more than just picking up the physical pieces. They're going to need picking up the pieces emotionally and spiritually for some time. And perhaps no one will need that emotional support more than the family of Eric Gavin, who died in the tornado while talking to his dad on the phone. The 45-year-old father was a longtime factory worker at this Genio turkey farm, which also suffered major damage during the storm. WCCO's Jennifer Merrily spoke with Gavin's daughter this afternoon. Jewel Gavin waded through her dad's life in a way she never imagined she'd have to. When she learned of the widespread damage in Prairie Lake Estates where Eric Gavin lived, she went to the shelter to greet him and the other residents. And then I waited at Mosaic with everybody. I was waiting for him to get off the bus. And he just she later learned her dad, the man she's always admired, did not survive the tornado. The sheriff came and talked to me and told me. And <laughs> that was hard. That was one of the hardest things in my life. I was my daddy's girl. Definitely, I'm the only child. Jewel says her dad loved the outdoors, hunting, fishing, motorcycles, and four-wheelers. She's felt the embrace of the community, the governor, and this man. Look what she lost, you know? Foster Freeze, who grew up in nearby Rice Lake, gifted her $10,000. He knows he can't take away her pain, but he'd like to ease her worry. That's what people are meant to do, to realize how precious life is and how she can grow from it and that her life will be enriched as soon as he gets through the grief. Jewel can't see that far ahead just yet. But she says each gesture of kindness helps heal her heart. It was nice to know that there was support there for me, and even people from the community is coming together. And Jill told Jennifer that her father had two dogs, two ferrets, and a cat. Two of them are still missing. She said that a woman drove an hour to bring her a ferret cage, another instance where a stranger became a friend.